God of heaven, look down upon us. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and And my my mouth mouth shall shall declare declare your grace. From the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 36. For you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do I have what it takes? Do I have what it takes? This is a question that I think comes up in all of our hearts. Surely when we're young, when we're coming of age, but even later in life, do we have what it takes? Can we do it? Can we get things done? Can we make things happen? Our passage today from the letter to the Hebrews speaks of a need for endurance, and it points to this reality that we'll need to do something. We need to have what it takes. Indeed, in life, there will be trials, there'll be trouble, there'll be work to do. And can we do that? Oftentimes in the spiritual life, I think we conceive of our life of faith in the same way, of having to do something. So often we think that to be holy, we just need to do something more. I need to pray this extra devotion. I need to do this thing or do that thing. But the answer to our spiritual dryness is rarely just to do more. Jesus says in a famous passage in Matthew's gospel that his yoke is easy, his burden is light. You see, the endurance spoken of in today's letter then is not about a burden that we have to carry. Sure, there will be trials, there will be trouble, there will be work. I mean, there's a whole world that we have to evangelize. But Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. And the endurance spoken of in today's letter to the Hebrews is not some extra burden upon us. No, Jesus draws us into relationship with him. The passage tells us that we do the will of God. And what is the will of God? The will of God is love. God wills our good. The will of God is to be in relationship with us. God's will, his deepest desire, is to be with us. This is where we have to fall in love with God and stay in love with God. This is the endurance spoken of here in the letter to the Hebrews. Indeed, there are things to do in the spiritual life. We do have to spend time in prayer. We have to devote ourselves to evangelization. We have to serve Jesus who comes to us in a needy brother or sister. But in all of this, we do it with God. Jesus says his yoke is easy, his burden is light, because he desires to be yoked to us. Where there's a burden, he wants to carry that burden for us. You see, he doesn't want us to be alone in this endurance. He wants to be with us. That's his will. This is what he promises. I know in my own life, one of the greatest difficulties is always to stay in relationship with Jesus. I can be with Jesus in my morning meditation, I'm close to the Lord during the celebration of Mass. But then it's time to work. And I go to my office, and even though as a priest I'm planning and doing so many good things for the kingdom of God, 
It's easy just to be in my own head. I have a very choleric temperament. I want to get things done, and I work so often as if he isn't there. And when I do that, I certainly can't endure. I can't do it. And Jesus in my poverty draws me back again and again to the relationship. He wants to be with me. This, brothers and sisters, is the promise. This is the endurance. The will of God is that we are with him in every trouble and trial of life. Jesus desires and promises that he will carry the burden, and his yoke is easy, and his burden is light. And as our song here reminds us, be not afraid as we turn to our Father and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the midst of our trials, grant us the strength to trust in your wisdom and the confidence to know You are with us always. Help us endure with patience, faith, and courage, knowing that your love will guide us through every challenge. And we ask in your Son's name. Amen. I often think how lucky the seminarians are to have Father Jason as their teacher and guide. What a beautiful reflection. Thank you. And speaking of beauty, let's create some this weekend through word and deed with God's blessing to guide us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go with God, friends. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you tomorrow.